Uh, let's pick us another game. Later luck be a dream tonight. I don't know. Steam cleaning. This is Dan. Bzzzt. Sam and Max 305, the city that dares not sleep. What a terrible game for me to end up getting, uh, end up selecting. The city that dares not sleep. I don't even know how I'm supposed to play this and have it be. I didn't think this feature through. I really didn't. You ever play, uh, well, this isn't much of a dialogue. Oh, actually, this reminds me I wanted to change something. Um, in game. No, f friends. I'm going to turn that off so that I stop seeing those. Feels a little more professional that way. Later, look, pick a good game, but you didn't. You didn't pick a good game. Hey, everybody, welcome back to, uh, well, not welcome back. I mean, I'm playing the same game. I forgot that I'm just doing this in two parts. I found a way to turn it into, or, you know, pull it out of uh, full screen. Um, ooh, but the window's out of alignment. Um, let me try and align that a little bit better. Anyway, this is Sam Max uh, Season 3, Episode 5. So you guys don't even know what's going on. Max turned giant. He's like an evil ah, monster. There you are, my friend. This guy's kind of I'm the narrator. So it's a Twilight Zone kind of thing. Back for our final chapter. Yeah, we're in the finale. Spoilers, it has been I guess. One week since the tragic turn of events that transformed Max from irrepressible scam to rampaging behemoth. Scary. Even now, he cuts a swath of destruction through the Upper West Side, releasing That's hideous where I live. spores that feed off the psychic oh. energy of dream. So much for my you dreams. Oops, let me start my timer. another predictable story of a giant monster attacking Manhattan. But you'd be dead wrong, oh. my friends. This is a mystery story, a tale of treachery and deceit. I like Watch the liver spots they have my friend. Because before our story is complete, one of the characters you see before I don't remember you which one it is. will betray Sam and Max. I think I kind of remember. Who is it? That remains to be revealed. These are I'll all people who... I'll join you again at the halfway point to give you one final guess. I have no context. You, like, now, you probably have no you idea who any of them more are. more pressing concerns. The great Max Beast, his hour come round at last, slouches towards Brooklyn to be born. Brooklyn. You know, the funny thing is, uh, well, not the funny thing. I thought that this was actually the best one. It, you know, like I said, there were three seasons of this. And uh, Telltale, they captured the, kind of captured the spirit in the first one, but they reused a lot of assets. In the second one, they were sort of getting their footing a little better. There was like one standout episode in the first season. It was near the end as they started to sort of figure everything out. And then this third season was, like, really good. And it still retained a lot of the adventure game trappings. See, like, The Walking Dead and, and all of those games that Telltale makes now, they're all fun and they're all cool, but they're not adventure games. Not really. They're, um... Sleep. Sleep. Unless you're watching. Don't fall asleep. Did I accidentally turn off Reports subtitles? Reports coming in from no, downtown. Oh no! The entire neighborhood of Tribeca has fallen asleep. I don't even remember what all these people's why names are. On running that independent film I don't know why he has like a Cthulhu coming out of his uh, chest. The creature is destroying the city, and the longer we wait, the more powerful he becomes. <laughs> As acting president, I'm forced to launch the final imperative. Dun dun dun. No wait, there's still so, some So fun trivia: no, Max was the president, and now way. that's why that's we why this guy's the sir. acting president. Not quite everything. If you could somehow get a team of highly trained experts inside Max, they might be able to reach his brain and reverse the transformation. But the main mm. cons have already attempted to get through every point of entry. Some of the attempts were too horrible to about. <laughs> yeah, but they've I all been the main the mother over. of all orifices. Max's mouth. Oh boy. Enter through the mouth. That's suicide. Hmm. I guess it's possible. If you could find a way to get him to swallow you whole, there'd be oh, a yeah, there's a about chicken. three meters wide. Three meters. That would be impossible, <laughs> even for a computer. Max, <laughs> Star Wars joke. He's Megachomp brats in one gulp, and those aren't much smaller than three meters. Hmm, very well, sir. But I can only give you until 6 a.m. At that point, for the good of America, I'll have to launch the attack. I'm on the case. 
Now, where am I going to find a team of highly trained experts? So, uh, I think this one, this one lets you walk around, but I'm pretty sure it also has a point and click mode. Yeah. So you, I can point and click or I can just like walk around and it'll, it'll move stuff around. Ah, greetings, so Sam. as the official representative of the theater district, I offer our full support in this time. I think this guy's a, a Shakespearean actor. Yep. Oh yeah. I remember the sitcom. <laughs> uh, Hiya, Mr. Featherly. Want to join the team and help us save Max? He said he would. Unfortunately, I must decline. Union rules, you know. Can't perform inside any theater smaller than 500 seats or any creature larger than 10 stories. And for obvious reasons, I am averse to being eaten. Because you're a chicken. Um, so, let me see. Can I walk around? Okay, no. Um, gosh, like, that's the other thing. Like, none of this, none of these characters make any sense to you. Like... You've never seen cops. Hello, cops are and hilarious and awesome. The creature obliteration and punishment sure. That's not what and punishment? cops change You've all the time. All wrong. You're trying to help Max. We will help him. Do a generous <laughs> serving of ass whooping. Chippy's great. Um, let's see, viruses. If we could disguise the DeSoto. We could use it as a Trojan horse to sneak into Max's body like a virus and take out any mind worms or whatever it is that's causing this whole thing. They don't like viruses. Trojan horses, worms, or Trojans. Or viruses around us. Let's see, cops. What are you guys doing here? We have pledged our prodigious processing power to devising an algorithm <laughs> that will save the city, if not the entire... It's a whole group of, like, old obsolete computers. You are welcome. The arcade machine is dead, How I think. How long is that going to take? Estimating. Buffering. <laughs> Time to completion, 3.5 minutes. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Only three and a half minutes to come up with a solution to the whole thing? No, just to get the oh, estimate. God, no. It will take three and a half minutes to come up with the estimate. Oh, boy. I just stepped on the joke. I'm sorry, guys. Have you guys got any ideas about how I can help Max? Our breakthrough destructo match technology can calculate the perfect point to place nuclear oh. warheads <laughs> for maximum destruction with only PG-13 levels of blood and gore. He's that trying not to kill him. rabbit who will be multiplying. <laughs> Into a thousand smoldering pieces. Uh, boy, on, cops! It's not Max's fault. He's been turned into a shambling elder god. That is one elder god who is headed for mandatory retirement. Piao! <laughs> um, let's get another joke. Okay. Serious, cops! Superball's gonna blow up my best buddy if I can't stop him. It looks like your BFF will soon be DOA. <laughs> uh, is it gonna give me Max one more? Really getting on my nerves. Oh yeah. And soon Max's nerves will be getting on you. <laughs> After we blow him up, that is. Uh, that sucks. We you guys are gonna just watch this video, and you're gonna be like, "Please don't mention." Yeah, I skipped that line. So um, if a Gibbon had a microchip implanted, hey, wait a second. What happened to the Crime Tron? I don't re even remember Crime Tron. She is on an extended weekend getaway must be with there. the Bluster Blaster machine. The, m the arcade Ouch. machine. How's uh, Kurt taking it? I only want her to be happy is all. Huh. <laughs> Who needs that Crime Tron anyway? Am I right? You shut your mouth. She was an angel designed in California and manufactured in heaven. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So Mr. Featherby's not going to join. He's not going to join. Let's talk Will to Mama Bosco. Rescue team, Mama Bosco. Sorry, Sam. If this is going to work, you're going to need me operating the radio and monitoring equipment from here. Paperweight and I will be happy to assist, of course. We will? Man up, Paperweight. Sam is going to need someone familiar with creatures of the dark dimension. Why does Paperweight That's have a, a thing coming out of his chest? I still don't remember. But you're more people. A scuba diver, a veterinarian, a psychologist, a dark <laughs> wizard, and a brain surgeon. Did somebody call me? Who is it? Oh, it's this. <laughs> uh... Yep. Sybil! You've come to help us save Max? This is a location what? that was Heck recycled no. a bunch. Seriously, did somebody call me? Harry Mullman grabbed my cell phone from me and smashed it. What? But... Oh, all right. I'm in. 
I'll wait by the car. All right. Looks like you've got your team, Sam. Now wait, I thought the chicken was gonna. Max to eat you. That sounded better in my head than out loud. I didn't even get to hear all the jokes. So I guess Featherbee is coming. Getting Giant Max to eat you is gonna be tricky. Oh, okay. So what do I have in here? Let's see. The city, the case, uh, dark horrific beast. So Sybil, what's your paperweight? Doctor Norrington have agreed to help. Cool. Uh, suspects: Sam, Max, Bosco, Mister Paperweight. Ah, uh, he joined with Yoxagoth and a mag magic spell ruined by Samoth and Maximus. Uh, Private Taylor, Doctor Norrington. Oh, that's the Elder God. Cool. There's Grandpa Stinky. There's General Skunkape or Skunk Ape. <laughs> Skunkape. Toys of Power, yeah. Okay. President Super Bowl. Uh, Secretary of the Posterior, not President. Commander in Chief of Operation. The Cops. Sybil Lincoln Pandemic. Mr. Featherly. Tastes like himself. How about that? And then uh, these are powers that I can use, but I don't have Max right now anyway, so I can't really use them. Uh, let's talk to Super Very Bowl. well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Well, I guess. I've got the ability to go. I got espresso beans and I got my gun. Well, actually, the gun is kind of fun. I don't need to shoot anybody. It's enough that they know I have a gun. Oh, and old games used to be able to just kind of shoot like crazy. All right, let's see if we can uh, go to the car already. I don't even remember how to get out of here. Half the city is destroyed, and Mama Bosco still can't find someone to help bust up this old shivero. All right. That's how you run. And now we're going to try and get eaten. I might need to get the chicken. I bet I can't get in without the chicken. I feel like when I played this last time, I had to have the chicken with me. But I could just totally be making it up. I don't actually remember this game that, that well. I Like I said, I played it like years ago. There's Abraham Lincoln. Hey. It's a good day to die. This now this this statue guy is the one, yeah. Who somehow impregnated Civil Pandemic? Monster or maybe she's city, artificially insulated. Right, now you all know I'm not one for speeches. <laughs> but I have prepared a history joke. <clears throat> Let's kick that devil bunny's ass. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't remember why they sing Beyonce, but I love it. Bye, honey. Be careful. Oh, I've got cornmeal over here. I can probably get him to eat me. Hiya, pal. What's the rumpus? Hey, Flint. Want to join us inside Max's body? For Go to ice, Sam. I've got to beat cheeks while the beating's good. He's going to be just um, punching people? Okay. Don't fret, Grandpa. I'll put the pinch on those grifters trying to take you for a ride faster than you can shave a hobo's coin slot. Gross. Gross. Have that was the really grossest. Have Gross. Have to do that with the lingo getting all the stubbing? And it's always about hobos for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Irish lullaby. Oh, I miss the real Max. You guys are just pale imitations with admittedly cool flaming heads. Well, Sam, immolation is the sincere. <laughs> oh God, the puns are so Can bad. You do something about your wee friend here. I think if you just apologize for calling him short, we could put all this. <laughs> it's knee worth it. <laughs> I need the corn dogs. Diabolically delicious demon dogs. I. That's what I need. I don't need the chicken. I need the, the corn dogs. That actually sounds kind of generous, Grandpa Stinky. No, especially since everyone in New York would be hooked, and then they'd have to come to my diner to get any more. I'd make a fortune. And now I suppose you expect me to be giving you yep. a super secret recipe. No, I just want well, the dogs. Yeah, that'd help. All right, there you go. Uh, that's it. Of course that's it. It's just a recipe. 
Why do you always have to make things so complicated? Huh. Do you Let want to see if he'll join the rescue team. Action-packed, fantastic voyage inside the body of Max? Do I? Do I? No! Oh, come hmm. on, Grandpa. Every action rescue team needs an unlikable one who's first to get picked off when Yeah, I don't want to be starts. the guy who dies first. Well, I can't. I'm washing my beard tonight. All right. Because okay, he probably truck. used the delivery Obviously, truck. Obviously, I'm delivering food for the war effort. I don't see anything in there but a bunch of cornmeal. Just to make the, the corn dogs. Flaming parasites ran off with all me wieners. <laughs> we must feed the host. Pig lips and sphincters make us stronger. We regret nothing. <laughs> They're funny. With your truck out of commission, now what are you going to do? Heading back to my diner while I still have one. But you'll be crushed or lulled into a horrible nightmare of sleep by the hideous spores. Come play with us, Grandpa. We will whisper <laughs> sweet stories from the congressional record. <laughs> I haven't slept in three <laughs> years, and I eat about to start now. Uh, this game is hilarious. At least move your truck. You're parked in a red zone. Oh, I probably yeah. can't leave with the if truck you in there. If moved, then you'll have to do it yourself. Have you and Stinky patched things up since your birthday party? She's Stinky's his daughter. Bridge and tunnel and sewer boyfriend of hers are up to something. And her boyfriend is a roach. And they're not going to catch <laughs> Maybe she's a mermaid? Surprise. I don't remember. I think you're being too hard on Sal. I'll bet if you just talked, you'd find out you had a lot in common. Sal sounds like. like. Well, you're both almost impossible to That kill. guy you with like the voice from Seinfeld. A lot. <laughs> ah. Thanks All right. for the recipe, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah, good luck with that, Marmaduke. Now I've got to perfect the recipe of my own. All right, let me see. Oops. All right. Uh. Franks, cornmeal, vegetable oil, egg for binding. Cool. So I can see, because I'm, I'm gonna need to. Eat. The last box of corn dogs in the entire city. Corn dogs? Gimme, gimme! What? Dog me, Sam. Keep them coming. Go on, beat it. This is a little hint for how I'm gonna. Those imposters like corn dogs as much as the real Max does. I hope that means the real Max is still somewhere inside that lumbering sack of doom. So now do I have the yeah I have the corn dogs. No, that's not what I meant to do. Take a corn dog recipe, describe it, activate it. Mmm, something smells good. <laughs> Come on, Max. Here, boy. Yeah, there we go. Got that truck out of the way. Is he gonna eat the truck? Yep. Oh no, he threw it right back where it's not supposed to be. Grandpa Stinky's been selflessly devoting his truck to the war effort. You take the wheels and I'll check the cab to see if there's a radio. You'd have to be some kind of monster to loot an emergency vehicle in the middle of a war zone. He is a monster. Besides, I already tried it. Okay, so I think I... Let me see. Let me take him out again. All right, wave it. Mmm, corn dogs. They're good and good for you. So he grabs the thing. And then I wave it again. Come on, Max. Here, boy. Or no... He's gonna want to throw it at me or something. So if I eat it over here, maybe he'll put it somewhere else. Oh. He's. Oh. Remember the old recipe? Because we need. No. Let me see. View it. It's Grandpa Stinky's recipe for his diabolically delicious corn dogs. Sure, yeah. His favorite. I have a ton of cornmeal now, and it's in the water. All right, cool. So now I need some of the other stuff. Uh, if I could get enough speed, I bet I could jump this thing straight into. Sorry, it. Why does it have the modifications I've made to suction the cups? Make it perfect for traveling through Max's innards. But it can't travel on that. Everything oh. checks out here. 
We need to get the car into there, Your probably. Your eyes are getting very, very heavy. Oh, hi, Sam. With the modifications I've made to the DeSoto, we should be all set to travel through Max. Gross, but You'll I'm in. You'll just need to find a way to get it inside him. Yeah. Uh, let's find out about Max all this stuff. You? Sleep. Sleep. Sam, I'm in my fifth trimester here. I couldn't sleep fifth trimester? even if I you wanted can't. to. That doesn't make any sense. Are you sure it's safe for you to go on this mission in your um, condition? Don't worry, Sam. I've talked to the best OBGYNs and the finest classical oh, right, sculptors, and the they dad's all a agree that everything's statue. fine. I'm not due for another <laughs> two weeks, at least. Oh, man. Can you help me out with this recipe, Sybil? Sorry, Sam. I can strip down a DeSoto, psychoanalyze a serial killer, and carry a national monument in my body I'm doing all right. Months, I think on I it. I never learned to cook. 13 months. Yikes. Uh, nice let's work, find out about the DeSoto. I didn't know you were into cars. Oh, you know, after college, I got together with a few of my girlfriends, and I know it's a cliche, but we opened That's a pretty funny. Shop. Suction wheels, antibody proof paint job, and an exhaust system rich in omega 3. And what's that I smell? I thought you would appreciate that. Wiener second air freshener! <laughs> I guess he does love best. those. Okay, so I think we're gonna turn so, the car into a giant corn like dog. I think Lincoln that's how we're gonna end their uh, eventful honeymoon. Oh, it was absolutely magical. He took me back home to DC to introduce I me think to his friends. They met it, or he night, came alive from we Rushmore. I'm not sure. Lawn, looking at the stars, he just suddenly took me in his. Oh boy. Sam. Got a little risque. Sam, are you okay? What? Oh, sorry. My brain went into shock for a second to prevent permanent damage. Please go on. Not much oh more boy. to tell, really. Thirteen months later, and here we are. Uh, I'm glad you two had a nice honeymoon, even though you must never ever speak of it again in my presence. Oh, that's sweet. It's good writing. You know, I know I it's silly, but I like that writing. And Max for introducing me to Abe, and I know how much you both like new guns. So before I left. I got you both a surprise. Ooh. Ooh, gimme! Where is it? Shut up, not Max. get one. But seriously, Sybil, where is it? It's in those boxes of stuff I gave you for safekeeping. I don't oh. remember what happened to those. Oh, they must have been destroyed. Okay, see you around, Sybil. Let me know as soon as you're ready to leave. Not yet. I might have to go back inside to keep, uh, yeah. How do you guys keep that flame going so long anyway? We are fueled by the inextinguishable flame of human imagination! And kerosene. Huh. I don't see any kerosene. Where's the supply line? That's none of your damn... Uh-uh. Nobody steals my little buddy's catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good smack. Alright. Oh, there's Sal back there, so I'm going to need to probably talk to Sal. Come on. Oh, and the fire escape, too. I forgot about the fire escape. Hey, Sal! Guess he's still skittish about that whole necking with girl Stinky, plotting the murder of Grandpa Stinky, and unknowingly contributing to the apocalyptic fever dreams of a mad ventriloquist dummy from Yikes. the Dark Dimension thing. But what's he doing hanging around Bosco Tech? What's in Bosco Tech? Sal? Uh, I guess never he's mind. not there. Alright, let's see what. I think this might lead to my apartment. It's been so long, and like all locations, you know, they, they reuse them, which is cool, but, oh no, at least the roof. Manhattan, a city oh, it's the under devil. Siege. But is it, as some would have you believe, the fourth? Alright, let's see. I need vegetable oil, an egg, so I can get that from the chicken, probably. Over here, you can see the so There's Satan and Jürgen. Ooh, the vegetable oil tire. Rapeseed oil. Mama Bosco converted the entire lab to biodiesel. If I can pour that into the thing. That film crew in the way. So I gotta get him to move. Hey, watch it. You're blocking the live. Oops, oh, Jurgen. He's a vampire. What's new, Beelzebub? No time to chat, Sam. I'm doing public relations work that is absolutely, absolutely critical. Satan. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think. I don't remember if Sam became leader of hell, too. I had a public relations department. We sincerely appreciate your feedback. Now go no, away. No, go away. Oh, Jurgen. Oh. From the great pesto of 1908 <laughs> to the premiere of Starlight uh, Too bad the Mets just lost the World Series. 
New York City is no stranger to tragedy. But this tragedy... Don't match! New York rules! <laughs> I will cast you into the pit if you walk into frame again! <laughs> Uh. Note the lack I'm going to just keep doing this creature and the tentacles which are far too busy to be my work. Shout out to all the crime stoppers in 212. Let us see now if you value your soul. You Sam can't Max die in fans these are the best in the world. Hey, I am. I love Sam Max. The original game is really awesome. Oh man. So, that bald spot of yours keeps showing up on camera. Can you guys fix that in post? That's what? mean. Is it showing? My stylist explicitly guaranteed it wouldn't be visible. Oh, I think I can do it now. Pure rapeseed oil. Mama Bosco converted the Okay, come on. Get... Whoops. Close to it. Let me is grab the microphone. He's waving that microphone around like he's some kind of big shot. But he isn't. Satan keep Hey Max, how's the weather up there? You crack me up, little buddy. Let's see. Let's All talk right, to Sam. Jürgen, let's... All right, so I'm gonna need to do hey, that, Satan, but I don't remember what I need to do. Inside Max's energy? Now, Maybe I need to talk to Jürgen. Possibly have to gain from that. Well, it'd be a lot of fun, and you could just pop us all right inside with your magic powers and stuff. Yeah, but he's Besides, not going to do it. It's just a good, noble thing to do. You're One of those things spread the devil. with my previous work, are you? Mind if I uh, scooch on through and get to that water tower? I cannot deal with more of these delays. Gosh, Jurgen, Jurgen, so perfect right now. Be a good testy. boy and wait until we're finished here. It's really important that I get over to that. Did you know there's a special circle in hell dedicated to people who interrupt me while I'm working? That seems petty. Point taken. You know, the funny thing is, uh... What are you filming I think here, I've, exactly? This is the fourth of these, uh... Steam cleanings. I had nothing to do with this giant no, None of these have... Well, I guess uh, Don't Starve was a pretty good choice. More like protecting my But this brand. is the third one, not the fourth look one. At that Risen I didn't like. Just sits there eating things. Where's the temptation? Where's the cruel, cruel ironic, ironic twist? twist. Um, I'm gonna go on record saying sorry, Max blew up your About toy five box. minutes left. And that's another thing, Devil's toy box. I've never seen the thing before in my life. So it's I guess Beelzebub we mostly dealt with in one of the yeah, previous episodes. The I, heard, I think it was like it three or four. By some elder gods or something. Exactly, elder gods. They were already gone by the time I got here. Pinning this on me is Defamation. character assassination. Oh, assassination. Hello, Jorgen. Satan's got you as his cameraman now? Yeah, we had to... He was... I'm a German filmmaker. <laughs> is in my blood, as is the blood of several German filmmakers. That's a pretty good line. That's a pretty good line. So, Jorgen, need an assistant director or something? Yeah, AD. You wouldn't be able to handle it, Sam. Just between you and me, the talent is insufferable. Oh, he keeps telling me, make sure you get my good side. He's Satan. He doesn't have a good side. All right, that's an all right joke. It's not the best joke. Let's see, next one joke. You've got going on there, you're oh, in. yeah. Like an old <laughs> 60s director. Understand. The god look is so three years ago. <laughs> so weird. Is the look for fall in New York City. Plus, it's a lot cheaper. Sam, what happened to you to make you so cynical? Um... Any ideas how I we think I, max behind the us? scenes is how I'm going to get. You keep asking me to help you, Sam. I don't believe you understand. I need him to put on the microphone again. I'm kind and then I'm going to try and talk to you again. All right. Yeah, we're getting a little shine off your horns there. It's throwing off the white balance. Intolerable. Make up. I think I might need something in my inventory. Or let me talk to you again. Right, nope, Jürgen. he's going to come back. Let's take it from the top. So that puzzle definitely it's going to involve something else. No, that's not what I want. I want to talk to Jürgen. Sam, dear boy, you'll be damned if I let you continue to interrupt me. That's pretty funny. All right, so I guess they're all just one one unit. So let's get out of here. And we'll go back in and try and get an egg from, uh, from the dude. Although he is a mister, so I don't know if he's going to be able to lay any eggs. 
But that'll be probably where we end it because we've only got about three minutes left. So once we get down and we talk to him again, we'll uh, we'll see what's up. All right. Um, not cops. I want to talk to Mr. Fairley. At your service, Sam. I need you an egg. You wouldn't know where I could get an egg, Mr. Featherly. Oh, I see how this works. Everyone assumes that just because I happen to be poultry, of course I know where to score them some eggs. It's for a good cause. Yeah. Oh, very well. Bear in mind that this is strictly a one-time... Oh, no way. He's going to lay an egg. Noted. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, me, me. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique <laughs> New York. <laughs> oh man, this game is ridiculous. What's the problem? I can't do this with everyone watching me. I don't think they're watching you, Mr. Featherly. There's a giant monster attacking the city. It's good, good point, of you Sam. To say so, Sam, but my magnetism and stage presence are undeniable. <laughs> I simply cannot do this until everyone turns around and gives me some privacy. I simply can't help you until you get everyone to turn around and stop watching me. Okay, so I need to the real tragedy somehow get everybody to, to stop looking at him and he'll lay an egg. Exactly the kind of thing he would love to watch. Let me see. Is there anything I can activate in here? Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Uh. Well, would you look at that, Agent Super Bowl? I see nothing of it interest, doesn't... sir. You he didn't only say turn around. around for like five seconds. That was enough, sir. I saw more than you <laughs> can imagine. Worlds within worlds. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I think we're going to call it around here. Uh, this is Sam Max. Um, you know, the Devil's Play Box, Toy Box. Ah, the city that dares not sleep. Thanks for watching uh, Steam Cleaning. You know, for Sam and Max, Episode 5, The City That Dares Not Sleep. I'm steam cleaning. This is Dan. I'll see you next time.